Good afternoon gamers, welcome back. My name is Average Gamer 2015 and we are here with Farming Simulator 2015. Uh played this game a few times before. This is on the Xbox One console. But this is going to be my first time playing this particular map. Uh played the other one a few times, really liked that one. Figured why not for a video try this this other map out and see uh see what kind of damage we can do. First, I think we'll go ahead and get the combine rolling. We'll do a few rounds ourselves, and then we'll probably hire someone to go ahead and do that while I work on some other stuff around the farm. I'm also going to go ahead and apologize. I know there's probably going to be some terms on this that I use that aren't how the game refers to them. I grew up on a farm. I still work on the family farm, so I call them things just a, a lingo that I've picked up that might not apply to what the game actually calls them. So it's going to take me a little bit getting used to calling them by what the game calls them. I think this is actually the longest I've ever gone using using the first person view for combining or actually I don't think I really used it for driving tractors or anything it's actually not that bad I like the graphics I like the way it all works together the shadows are really really cool definitely a lot of time stuck into this game from the creators I'm also going to apologize, uh, I know throughout here there's probably going to be some times where I'll be jumping to different screens that look like they don't belong. They probably don't. Like, I played it before, but it's been a long, long time since I played it. So, it's going to take me some time getting used to the controls again, and just getting back in the swing of things. So, please bear with me on that. Hopefully I'll pick them up pretty quick, but we'll wait and see. And I think we'll go ahead and hire the a farm worker for that. And well, Let's go ahead and hook this up first before I pull away. We'll go unload what's in the combine into our trailer here. Then we'll haul it off to the uh, the elevator or whatever. I know they've each got their own particular name, but I'm probably just going to call it an elevator in, in this series. And I need to pay more attention to where I'm driving. Also coming from a farm, this has been one of the weirdest things for me in this game. Driving in the crop to unload the combine is just weird for me, so <laughs> it took me a while to get used to this part of it. <clears throat> okay, now that uh, we got that, I know it's not full, but... I just want to find out where the elevator is on this map. I didn't really research it nearly as much as I probably should have. I 
know that there is our bins, our, our dump site. I don't want to go there just yet. Flipping through, see if I can't find on the map where it's at. I think we'll go ahead and head down this road here. If uh, we go this way far enough, we gotta find something, right? like that is probably going to be our dump site or our, our elevator that we're hauling to see how much money we can get from this not gonna be a lot but when you're first starting off every dollar helps or pound or whatever the currency is and where you're watching this say well, about three thousand dollars I think this game actually originated over there as it Germany or someplace over there, so I'm, I think they're the Euro, aren't they? If I'm wrong, please go ahead and correct me in the comments section below. I I actually don't know what the the uh, currency is supposed to actually be called in this. I don't know if it's a if you just call it a dollar or. Never really thought about it before. <clears throat> okay, now I think we'll head over and <clears throat> top this off from our dump site. Then we can go ahead and haul that to the elevator now that we know where we need to be going. Another thing I love about this game is just the graphics and you know the physics there, how the grain flows freely. I know it's not quite as freely as what it could be, but I gotta give them a lot of credit. <clears throat> I think we'll go ahead and take our planter over to the other field if I can figure out how to get there first. I think we just need to take a right when we pull out here. Let's start with that. We'll take a right when we pull out and see if that gets us where we need to go. 
But first, why don't we just run into that building? I swear it's going to be hard to convince some of you guys that I actually grew up on a farm the way I'm driving this thing. I have run tractors in real life before. But it's not looking like it right now. Sorry about that, guys. The My Twitch account spazzed out there real quick. I'm actually recording all this on Twitch. Uh, right now it's the the only way I have to record videos. I'm working on getting a capture card and upgrading my computer system like I've said in previous videos. Should be something that's done here in the very near future and then hopefully I'll have a little bit better quality videos that I can start turning out to you guys because really I want to make sure the videos that are coming out are the best quality I can possibly make. I want you guys to be entertained because without you guys this means nothing. I think I actually need to go over here, so we're just going to go off-road for a little bit. It's a tractor. It's meant to do it. I think I can start planting. Actually, I don't know. That looks kind of like it's got some stubble on it. Let's go ahead and try it and see what happens. If not, we've got the digger sitting right there, so we'll just go ahead and... Yeah, that's not planting. Well, let's go go ahead and hire someone to start running the digger here. After that's gone for a little bit, then we can start planting in behind it and get the two of them working together while we haul some more grain. Done. Let's go ahead and get this over to the elevator. Well, our hired workers go ahead and, well, our one hired worker goes ahead and gets that other field prepped, and then we can get the, the planter going on that one. And I know I've said it before, guys, but if you have any, and I mean any video games that you'd be interested in watching me play, whether it's uh, you know, a computer game, Xbox One, Xbox 360. If you've got a PlayStation 4 game you want me to play, I'll go out and buy a PlayStation 4. <laughs> uh, anything at all, just please go ahead and post it in the comments below. I want to do something that's entertaining to you guys. I'm open to any types of of games I really don't have anything that I won't play so I want to know what's entertaining to you guys so I can go ahead and make the best videos possible and here we go let's see how much money we raised off of this not bad not bad we're getting up there. We're in the 20,000 plus range. Probably what I'm going to go ahead and do. I don't know that it'll be this episode yet, but in one of the upcoming episodes, we're going to work on paying down the loan that we have. I know every, uh, every time you start a game with this, it's going to have a loan to begin with. So I want to go ahead and pay that off and then we can eventually take out a different loan a little bit bigger and then we can buy some more land or some bigger equipment. I don't know that we really need a lot of big equipment on this. We probably just need a few more fields and probably a couple smaller tractors, diggers, planters. 
so we can be working on multiple fields at once because this map doesn't look like there's really any overly big fields. Boy, I like this first person view. Let's go over here. We'll park this in our in our yard and just leave it there. Probably something that just goes back to my farm days or you know working on my own farm kind of like having things stored at the home site it's one of my little quirks I guess <laughs> once again guys I have actually run tractors before <laughs> I know it doesn't look like it. My driving sucks on this game, but I have ri driven them before. Okay, that's filled. Let's take this on over to the elevator and see how much more money we can raise. I guess raising it really isn't a good term. Really? Of course, I parked that right in the way of where my digger needed to go. But I guess that was probably for the better. Now I can go ahead and get this started planting while the digger keeps going. And then we're doing two things at once. Make it go a lot quicker. you guys are going to get tired of me saying it, but the graphics on this are just awesome. I mean, the dirt being thrown, you can see the, the little coulters down there going as you're planting. That's just great graphics. Alright, let's go ahead and get this over the elevator. Once again, I'm just admiring the graphics. I know you guys are getting sick of it, so I'm just just looking around. It's something I've never really taken the time to do. I guess I just, first time I got it, or the first day I got it, rather, I jumped right into it and just started playing. Didn't really care about the graphics, because I've actually got this game on the PC and didn't give it a second thought. So maybe once I get my uh, computer upgraded that's something I'll look into is playing this on the PC do some mod videos I think that's part of the reason I really want to get a better computer is because there's so many good mods for all sorts of games Grand Theft Auto which I, I've got a video of just regular Xbox One play I see all these other guys doing mods on it and I want to be able to play with those mods But my computer right now just will not run some of those games to the quality that they need to in order to make a good video. I think we're going to go ahead and see how much grain... I know there's a lot of grain, but how much wheat I have left in storage here. I want to leave some just in case one of the elevators happens to have a huge run on the wheat price. Uh, 
2800 bushel I think we'll go ahead and leave it just in case like I said there's a big run in price or something I know that happens periodically throughout the game and I want to be able to capture that if if that happens so let's go ahead and get this tractor back to our main yard probably gonna end up selling it for a little extra money but we'll take it back to the main yard until then just in case I decide to buy a piece of equipment to go with it or something <clears throat> Plus, in the meantime, it gives us an opportunity to do some exploring in this map. The field numbers are getting smaller, so I think I actually need to go back the other direction. Yeah. I'll turn around after this car passes. I was going the complete wrong direction. I actually need to be heading back this way. I don't remember what our field numbers are, but I know they were in the 20s somewhere. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do, guys, is, uh, I think I'm going to get this tractor back to my yard, and that's probably going to be all I'm going to do for today. I know it's not, uh, didn't get a lot done, but it's going to turn into a fairly long video, and I don't want, I don't want my first few videos to be something where you guys are sitting in front of a computer or your tablet or whatever for a long time. I mean, if you want to, that's great. I I hope I turn out the type of videos that's going to make make you guys want to do that. Maybe eventually for some of our farm simulator or farming sim games in this series, we'll get to that point. But for right now, this is a good introduction into this map. I don't know that I'm actually going to continue in this map. I don't like it nearly as much as I like the other map that I played on this game. So I might actually go ahead and start a new one with that map. I mean, let me let me know in the comments if you guys like this. By all means, I'll continue to do it. But anyway, guys, this is where I'm going to go ahead and leave this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will catch you guys later.